On November 23, 2013, China unilaterally declared the creation of an Air Defense Identification Zone or ADIS, and marked its limits by specifying its coordinates in the East China Sea, covering several disputed islands that China, Japan, Taiwan and South Korea are claiming, including the Japanese-controlled islands they call Senkaku and known to Chinese as Diaoyu. China declared that foreign aircraft entering the zone without notifying their officials and maintaining radio contact would be subjected to defensive emergency measures. The Chinese Air Force immediately conducted its first patrol in the zone, with two large reconnaissance aircraft monitoring the area, early warning aircraft supporting, and fighters providing cover. However, a day after its announcement, the United States in an act of defiance flew its two B-52 bombers into the zone, without notifying Chinese air officials. The provocative American flights underlined Washington's unmistakable show of support to stand by Japan amid simmering regional tensions, and determination to honor the 1952 Mutual Defense Treaty with its Asian ally. Despite belligerent statements to the contrary, China did nothing to intervene. All China did was to claim that the aircrafts had been detected and monitored, as they flew through the area for more than two hours. A foreign ministry spokesman denied suggestions that China had been powerless to defend the airspace. The Chinese government has the will and ability to defend our national sovereignty and security, said Gan Gang. We also have the ability to exercise effective control over the East Sea Air Defense Identification Zone. He added. The Global Times, China's hawkish media, which is close to the ruling Communist Party and often takes a nationalist tone, criticized the reaction as too slow. We failed in offering a timely and ideal response, it said sounding as an excuse, adding that Chinese officials needed to react to psychological battles by the US. The two allies, along with Taiwan and South Korea, have publicly rejected China's attempt to unilaterally impose control over the area. Japan and South Korea said Thursday they have defied China's newly declared air defense zone with military overflights, showing Beijing a united front after US B-52 bombers did the same. Tokyo said its Coast Guard and Air Force had flown unopposed in the zone without complying with Beijing's rules. A Japanese government spokesman said Thursday, that its patrol planes have been conducting routine flights in China's air defense identification zone since Beijing's declaration. Japan has not been notifying China of its activities and further noted that Japan is conducting the same monitoring activity as before, and we will not change or restrict such activities. South Korea's flight took place Wednesday, near the area of the South Korean Maritime Research Center, built atop a submerged rock at both Seoul and Beijing contest. The flight marks a clear sign that Seoul will not recognize the new airspace claim, South Korea's Yonhap News Agency said in its report. South Korea's military said it encountered no resistance, when one of its planes entered the area. Australian leaders also said that it rejects Chinese claims over control of the airspace. The timing and the manner of China's announcement are unhelpful in light of current regional tensions, and will not contribute to regional stability, said Australian Foreign Minister Julie Bishop. The Philippines has also rejected China's newly declared air defense zone in the East China Sea, as infringing on the freedom to fly in international airspace, and compromising the safety of civil aviation. Department of Foreign Affairs spokesman Raul Hernandez, said China's air defense identification zone threatens the national security of affected states, and transforms the entire air zone into China's domestic airspace. It is unclear whether and how China is going to enforce its ADIS declaration. Official Chinese statements imply that Beijing intends to use military force if necessary, to ensure that all aircraft comply with Beijing's instructions within its declared ADIS. Beijing justifies that its ADIS is needed to help maintain air safety in the zone. However, the fact that China did not enforce its pronouncements when the two U.S. bombers flew across the zone last Tuesday seems to discredit that justification for the zone suggesting that the zone is nothing more than a political move over its claim in the East China Sea. On the other hand, Beijing's action appears targeted precisely at stoking tension between China and Japan, and putting pressure on the U.S.-Japan alliance. 
Now that US and Japan have responded to Beijing's gambit, the next move is on China. Will China stand by its provocation and maintain the offensive? Chinese academics said Beijing would be unable to ignore these breaches of its authority for long. If the United States conducts two or three more flights like this, China will be forced to respond. If China can only respond verbally it would be humiliating, said Sun Tzu, a professor at Tsinghua University in Beijing told Reuters. The concept of the paper tiger is very important. The whole world is eagerly watching as the story unfolds, in what seems to be a case of, he who blinks first loses.